Hello? Welcome to another encouragement here at I'm Second Channel. My name is Brother Nobody. Because it doesn't matter who I am. The only one that matters, beloved, is Yahusha Hamashiach, the son of the living Elohim, Yahuwah, our father, our daddy. Brothers and sisters, I'm so thankful that you would listen in again um, on this Monday, just getting off of work. And as I was even driving home, I already was not knowing what I was going to be talking about, but I just know I wanted to read something to help start, fire up your week. Hallelujah. And so we're going to have a quick prayer and we're just going to go right into it. Abba Yah, thank you. I ask you to show up. Just come, come around us right now, Father. I feel like there are many troubles around us these days and we need your help. Fill us with the Ruach HaKadosh. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and power. Fill, fill me with your anointing to speak your words this day and to encourage the brethren, your mandate over me. Father, I'm just, that's all I'm asking for. Help me to encourage the brethren. These things I ask in the name of your beautiful son, Yahusha Hamashiach, our king, our savior, our brother, our high priest, our best friend, the beautiful one, the holy one of Israel. Watch over the brethren, the Hebrew Israelites, we are Israel, and watch over the grafted in brethren, the Gentiles who are joining this family. Amen. So let it be. Hallelujah. Let's get right into it. This is Psalm 18. To the chief musician, a psalm of David, the servant of Yahuwah, who spake unto Yahuwah the words of this song. In the day that Yahuwah delivered him from the hand of all his enemies. Someday we shall sing, brethren, when we're all gathered together. We are going home. Second Exodus is going to happen. And when we're gathered, we're going to sing like never before. As Yahuwah delivers us from all our enemies. And from the hand of Saul, he said, and he said, I will love thee, O Yahuwah, my strength. Yahuwah is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. When I, man, family, I used to be getting drunk every day. And that was hardly any days that I remember because of my drunkenness, but that I wasn't getting drunk or I wasn't high or I wasn't popping pills or I wasn't fornicating or I wasn't sleeping around. Just the, the many things, or I wasn't depressed. And I say this to you in all confidence, hallelujah. <laughs> Yahuwah is a deliverer. There are many things that are not in my life today because of his faithfulness. Remember that today, family. Yah is a deliverer. My Elohim, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. I remember all I was doing at that time was Every day I beg him, 
Make me holy. Make me holy. Give me righteousness. Bless me to obey your words, to obey you. Let me hear your spirit. Let me hear your voice. God is faithful and, and Yahushua began to do just that when he filled me with his spirit. Those sins just begin to fall off of me, beloved. No lie, this is my testimony. I will call upon you, Yahuwah, who is worthy to be praised. And so shall I be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death come past me. And the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. Do you ever just have people that's constantly coming at you? It seems that they that someone's always saying something smart or because they know you're you're trying to live for Yah. They know that you're saved and that you're not about that foolishness anymore. The sorrows of hell can pass me about. The snares of death prevented me. David was in real trouble. Saul was trying to kill him on some days. And you have people around you really that would love for you to just be unalived. <laughs> in my distress, I called upon Yahuwah and cried unto my Elohim. See, real men and real women cry out to Yah. This is your way out. Out of a heart of, of just pain and, and being tired, cry out to Yahusha. Cry out to our Abba, our Yah. He will deliver you. He will save you. In my distress, I called upon Yahuwah and cried unto my Elohim. He heard my voice out of his temple. He will hear you, hallelujah. He will hear you, family. And my cry came before him. But if you're living in constant sin and you're not trying to turn away, it, your prayers are an abomination. We must turn and he knows our heart he knows if we're trying he knows that we're calling on him and if you're serious your cry will come before his throne even unto his ears he hears you beloved then the earth shook and trembled see when we call out to him and we give it all to him just strictly out of faith, believing the gospel, believing the finished work of what Yahushua did when he hung on that tree. Taking those lashes in his back, hanging on that tree, taking that beating for you, for me. When he, when he knows that you believe it and you're reaching out, he will in no wise turn you away. But he will respond. Earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wroth. Wroth, that means he was mad. Is he mad at you? No. He's mad at the enemies that are trying to stop you from coming out, stop your deliverance. He's angry at the sinner every day, the word says, but not the one that's humbly coming before him. He's moving, as you could tell, heaven and earth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire came out of his mouth and devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet. He's going to deal with our enemies. When we got here, when we first got here in 1690, in 1619, we were under that curse, which ended in 2019. And now we are turning back to him. We are awake and returning back to him as the true children of Jacob. True Israel, the bloodline lineage is the Negro. 
spread out all over the earth. And Yah has been seeing the whole time because he will not, he is not done with Israel. See, when when we didn't know who we who, who we are, no one was trying to get rid of Israel. But now that the world knows it's the Negro, he is coming to take vengeance on those that have messed with his children, the apple of his eye, his firstborn, hallelujah, Jacob. He rode upon the cherub and he did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. Speaking of that, those signs that you see, there's a sign coming. April the 8th. The first sign was in August that took a path along the United States like this and the next one on April 8th is taking a path coming this way putting a big X over this country don't break out your this is not break out your lawn chair time so you can see the pretty sun the pretty eclipse this is the time to be broken over your sin and these signs are for you Hebrew Israelites read Joel read Luke chapter 21 where Yahushua himself is talking about these signs at the brightness that was before him his thick clouds passed, hailstones and coals of fire. Yahuwah also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them. Scattered who? His enemies. And he shot out lightnings and discomfited them, made uh, David's enemies discomforted made them to be confused. He brought terror over them. He says, I am the same Yah, yesterday, today, and forever. This is the way this story is going to go. But you don't have to believe me. But I beg you, my brethren, Hebrew Israelites, get ready for Yah. Repent of your sins. I, I beg you, those of you who are Gentile, who are not playing games with Yah, Humble yourself. We all must be born again, Nicodemus. Then the channels of waters were seen. This is that day. And that day is soon upon us. This sign it, 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 next month is going to begin a whole nother level of judgment. Y'all keep playing with him if you want to. Keep thinking this is a game. Keep living foul. The foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke, O Yahuwah, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils. He sent from above. He took me and drew me out of many waters. He's going to remove his people. Hallelujah. Before judgment comes, before the judgment. No, because the, the scriptures say that we're going to see the places that have done us wrong. These nations, we're going to see them get judged. And then we're going to go to the wilderness. He prevented me in the day of my calamity. But Elohim was my stay. He brought me forth as he brought me forth also into a large place. This is the wilderness. This is going to happen. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The scripture says, pray that you would be found worthy to escape all these things that are coming upon the earth and to stand before the son 
of Adam, the son of man, Yahusha. Yahuwah rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands. He has recompensed me. He has paid me back. He has rewarded me according to the cleanness of my hands. Because I've turned my back on sin. Because I've given my life to him. Because I, I'm trusting in the gospel. I'm believing him. I am following his commands. But I love I, I, I love Jesus, Brother Koya. I love, I, I love Yahusha. Yahusha says, if you love me, you will do what I say. Why do you call me? He says, why do you call me Adonai, Adonai? Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and don't do what I say? For I have kept the ways of Yahuwah and have not wickedly departed from my Elohim. I have kept his ways and I have not departed from his way. For all his judgments were before me and I did not put away his statutes, his laws, his statutes, his commands. His, that's his word, that's his, his commands. Do they save you? No. His blood saves, faith in him saves. But following his commands shows that you love him and that you trust him. It says in, is it first or second John? He who does what is right is righteous. Hallelujah. So we have to do what is right to be considered righteous. But it is by grace you are saved through faith. And even in James it says, your faith without works, your faith without deeds is dead. So they work in unison with one another. It says, I was also upright before him. That's walking right before me today because he sees. And I kept myself from my iniquity. I kept myself out of sin. And now we have the Holy Spirit who empowers us to, to stay out of sin. Therefore, have Yahuwah recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight, because he sees what we do. He sees how I live my life daily. He sees how you live your life daily, beloved. With the merciful, thou will show thyself merciful. With an upright man, thou will show thyself upright. It's like whatever seed you're planting, that's what you what you receive. This is what you how you get repaid. So the merciful, he shows himself merciful. Are you merciful with people, with your brethren? To an upright man, he shows thyself. He will show thyself upright. With the pure, thou will show thyself pure. And with the forward, thou wilt show thyself forward. For thou wilt save the afflicted people. No one has to believe this. The Hebrew Israelites, the Negroes spread out all around in the nations around the world according to Deuteronomy 28, came in on slave ships, his people on slave ships. They are the afflicted ones. For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but will bring down the high looks, those of you that think you're better than us. He's going to bring down those high looks. These are the promises of Yahuwah. He cannot lie. For thou wilt light my candle, the Elohim, my my, my Yahuwah will lighten my darkness. That's in Psalms chapter 60. For by thee I have run through a troop, he strengthened us. And by my, my Elohim I have leaped over a wall. As for Yahuwah, his way is perfect. The word of Elohim is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust him. 
For who is Elohim, save our Yahuwah? Or who is a rock, save our Yah? It is Yahuwah that girdeth me with strength. This is how you are taking your next breath. This is how I have not been unalived as I sit here. It is Yahuwah that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places. He makes your feet sturdy. The places where you stand, they are sure places. And as long as we stay connected to him, abiding in him, your feet will not slip. In fact, the word says your enemies will fall in the trap that they set for you. Hear me, Hebrew Israelites. Hear me, those that are grafted in Gentiles. He teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken in my arms. He is that strength we need. Thou hast also given me a shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holding me up. And thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. Hallelujah. I have pursued mine enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn again till they were consumed. You will dominate your enemies. You will overcome all of your enemies. These are the words of Yahuwah penned by the Ruach HaKadosh through King David. They will come to pass. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise again. They are falling under my feet just like the enemy is under your feet. If you're born again today, if you're a new creature, if any man be in Mashiach, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Hallelujah. For thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemy, that I might destroy them that hate me. Watch out how you treat true Israel, true Jacob. We are Israel. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what other people think. The scriptures are talking about us. We are the people of the book. I hope that you don't get it too late. I hope that you repent now so that you could leave with us, Gentile. And, and you Hebrew Israelites, I hope that you repent so that you don't get left behind here. We must be found worthy to escape. They cry, who was they? Our enemies, but there was none to save them, even unto Yahuwah, but he answered them not. This is what it is with sinners, whether you're a Hebrew Israelite or Gentile. Yah doesn't listen to those that continue to sin. Romans chapter six, shall we continue to sin that grace may abound by no means? As many, don't, he says, don't you know that as many of us have been baptized into Yahusha's death, have been, uh, uh, have been baptized, have been baptized into his death? And so we're raised to new life, to be new creatures, to live new, to live holy. With his power, the Ruach, HaKadosh, he blows his breath on us. Now we can live for him. Now we can come out of those sins. My life proves that, hallelujah. It is my testimony, hallelujah. The power of the Ruach, not, not nothing that comes from me, but what came from inside of me rose up, hallelujah. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. We are more than conquerors. We are going to overcome our enemies in the end. 
Victory is ours through Yahusha our King. Hallelujah. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. I speak a lot about the hierarchy in the kingdom. Those that are last are going to be first, are going to be in charge. And people will serve us, serve the Negro, the Hebrew Israelite. I think it's a lot. I, I, we be reading these scriptures to y'all and y'all still don't believe it. It is going to come to pass, but we will rule righteously. That's why when we go back in the little, to the land, this hasn't happened with these other people that are there. The word says when we go back into the land, the world shall be at peace. As soon as they hear me, they shall obey me. The strangers, that's the Gentile, shall submit themselves unto me, unto, unto the Hebrew Israelite, unto Yah's family, his firstborn Jacob. You don't have to believe it. Let's read on. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. It says, Yahuwah liveth, and blessed be my rock, and let the Elohim of my salvation be exalted. Hallelujah. The victory is coming, family. Hallelujah. Victory is going to chase you down and overtake you. If you are born again, Hebrew Israelites, if you are born again, grafted in Gentiles, it is Yah that avengeth me and subdueth the people under me. He delivereth me from mine enemies. Yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Those that are violent towards us, deliverance comes, family, beloved, brethren, family. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Yahuwah, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, Yahusha, and showed mercy to his anointed, David, and to his seed. We are the seed that are harvesting right now in these days. And to his seed forevermore. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Yahuwah. Praise his son, Yahusha Hamashiach, the king of kings. And Adonai of Adonai's. He is the great one. He is coming soon. Be ready, beloved. Pray that you will be found worthy to escape. Live holy. Come out of sin. Amen. We are Israel. This is your brother Koya, the Judean. Till next time. Amen. I'm second.